All right, welcome to the first piano lesson in this series. In this first lesson, we are just gonna start looking for our notes. And the way we look for our notes is that we need to recognize that there's a pattern on the piano. And the pattern is this. Two black notes, three black notes, two, three, two, three, up. All the way up and then all the way down. Two, three, two, three, two, three. On your piano, you have more, you may have less, but they're all the same. So we're gonna find our two black notes. And the note right in between this white note, that is gonna be our D. So if this is D, let's find another D. Uh, two black notes and the middle. There's a D, let's find another one. Two black notes and the middle. Let's find another one down here. Two black notes in the middle. And another one, two black notes in the middle. So these are all Ds. The only difference is that some are low, so these are low, these are high, and then the ones in the middle are the ones in the middle. So on that first note that we found, D, we are going to put our thumb. So right thumb goes on D, and the first exercise we're going to learn is the five finger exercise. So it's pretty much this. We're playing all five fingers and five notes that are right next to each other. So we're gonna have this D and then five notes up. And we're gonna wanna be able to go up. This way is up on the piano because the notes go higher. And then this way on the piano is down because they go lower. So starting on that D with our thumb, we're gonna do five fingers going up and then five fingers going back down. So I'll do that a couple times. Without stopping. And we're just training our fingers to be able to hit their individual notes without skipping. So that's the five finger exercise on our first note of D. So just like in the English alphabet, the musical alphabet uses the first seven letters of the alphabet. So if this is D, we're gonna go up. So what's next in the alphabet? If this is D, that means this would be A, B, C, D. The next one is gonna be E. So you have the two black notes and to the right, that's E, this is D, this is E, and we can find another E, right? Two black notes and to the right of it, two black notes to the right, or just find your D and go to the next white note going up that way to the right. So on E, let's play our five finger exercise a couple times. If you have to stop, pause, rewind, please do that in the video. So we're gonna keep going. If we know where D is between the two black notes, the next note is E. What's the next note in the alphabet? So we say the alphabet, it's A, B, C, D, E. That would make this F. And we're gonna do our five fingers on F. If this is F, what is our next note in the alphabet? After F, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that's gonna be our G. So let's play G, five fingers. Cool. And then G is the last note in the musical alphabet, which means we start all over. So after G, we go back to the beginning of the alphabet and our next note is gonna be A. So let's play A two times, going up and back down, up and down. 
And the second letter in the alphabet is A, B. And we get to B, and let's play B five fingers. After B, we play C, five fingers. After C, the alphabet just continues and it repeats. So after C is D, which we found our two black notes and D's in the middle. And the next note is E, next one is F, and then G, and then it starts over. A, B, C, D, E, F, G starts over. A, B, C, D, E. So it carries that pattern going up. And if you go backwards, it's just the alphabet backwards. So if we have G going backward would be F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G. So that same pattern of seven notes, because it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, these seven notes just repeat, just repeat, just repeat. Seven notes repeat, repeat, and repeat. So the piano is really simple when you think of it that way. So now that we got the five fingers with the right hand, we're starting with our thumb. I'll start on C. So what we want to do is play the five finger exercise on every note. That means we're going to play it on C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and on C again. So it's going to look something like this. And then I'm going to go out with my thumb to D and do it all over again. up to E and do the five finger again and I'm just moving up every time after E is F after F it's G after G it's A after A B and after B C, right where we started. So we started on this C, and we worked our way up to the next C. You could do it from any note to any note. It could be D to D, it could be F to F, it could be A to A, as long as you do it those seven times, or eight times. Um, that's gonna be good enough practice. So the rule in music is, especially on piano, whatever your right hand can do, your left hand should be able to do the same. So for this five finger exercise, uh, we'll start on D, but this time instead of starting with our thumb on our left hand, we have to start with our pinky. So put your pinky on that D, and then put your five fingers, because you're going to be going up this way. So this will look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to go back down. Five, four, three, two, one. And that's the five fingers on the left hand. And then, just like with the right hand, we're gonna go up to the next note. So if we started on D, the next note going up is E, good. Then the next note is F. So pinky on F and do the five fingers. After F, it's G. So I'm not going to do them all, but take the time to practice the left hand by itself. And once we have the left hand by itself, whatever the right hand does, the left hand should be able to do it. And then the next level is going to be both hands being able to do the same thing at the same time. So I'm going to start my C five finger exercise on C. So thumb on that C and then my left hand pinky on C. So each finger is going to play a note and both hands are going to play the same note. So I'm going to play C, then the next note is D, and then E, F, G, and then we're going to go back down that way. So G, F, E, D, C, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
And when we're done with C, we're gonna go up to D, so slide your fingers up to the next note, the next white note, and then do the five fingers. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. And I may be going fast, but you can stop the video and take it at whatever speed you need to take it at. And then you go to E, F and then we go to G and we do again seven times A and we just want to end where we started so we're on B and if you remember the first five finger scale I started on was C so my next note is C So that's the exercise you want to start off as a warm-up. It should take you about four or five minutes to complete. Um, and that's our first exercise. The next thing we're going to learn, and is the last thing for today, is chord. So a chord in music and piano, this is going to be the building block to playing any kind of song. And what the chord is, we're going to start on C. We're going to put five fingers down. Uh, and this time, we're going to play three notes at the same time. And the three notes are going to be this. We're going to play our thumb. We're going to skip the second finger. It's going to be middle finger. Skip the ring finger. And we're going to play the pinky. So your hand should be this shape, kind of. We're not using this finger or this finger. So thumb, middle, and pinky. And just to play with exercise and kind of with a count we're going to play each chord so when we play three notes together we call that a chord we're going to play each chord four times so we're just going to do this one two three four and this is a c chord because we're starting on c so if i take my thumb and i go to d and i move all my fingers so we play one skip that second one middle skip the ring and then pinky this is going to be our D chord for now. And we're going to play it four times. One, two, three, four. And then with this same shape, just move it up to the next notes. E chord. E, G, B. Those are the three notes. And we play it four times. One, two, three, four. And then we just keep going up. F is next. One, two, three, four. Next is G. One, two, three, four. Next is A. One, two, three, four. Next is B. One, two, three, four. And we end on the one that we started, which was C. So C up here. One, two, three, four. So that exercise from the beginning to end will be this. up the scale. So that's start the start of uh, playing chords. And again, whatever the right hand does, the left hand should be able to do. So same thing. We're going to start pinky on C. And we just play one, we skip middle finger skip and thumb so pinky ring thumb and that's our chord four times one two three four and then we go up to d and the three notes are going to be d f and a so we have d d d d and we just keep going up and then f G, and then A, B, and C. So whenever you can do it with one hand, fine, and pretty good, pretty strong, comfortable, and you can do the other hand, that's good, by itself, and you feel good, you want to put them together now. So both hands are going to be doing the same chord. We're going to start on C. 
So C, E, G, and the right hand's gonna do the same notes. C, E, G, and both hands are gonna play four. One, two, three, four. And then we just go up the scale, up the next note to D, D, F, A, D, F, A, four times. One, two, three, four. And the exercise, again, just keep going up. One, two, three, four, and then F. One, two, three, four, then G. One, two, three, four, and then A. Then B. One, two, three, and last C. One, two, three, four. So everything in this video was our first lesson. We, we learned to find our first note. So find two black notes and in the middle we have D. And from this note, we were able to find the other notes just following the alphabet. So the next note after D was E. So D, E, what's next? F, G, and then it starts over. A, B, C, D, E, and it just continues all the way up and all the way down. And then we learned our first exercise. I'll start on C, the five fingers just going up with five fingers and then going down with the five fingers too. And we did that with both hands. And then the third thing we learned was making chords. And the chord shape was using three notes, three fingers, and we're skipping. So it's C, we skip the second finger, middle finger, skip the reading finger, pinky and this shape is our chord shape and we just move this up the scale up the notes so we have c four times one two three four d four times and keep going up So that's chords, and you want to do it with the left hand too, and then both hands, and practice this every day. Okay, so that wraps up this lesson. Practice every day. Watch this video. Slow it down. Rewind it if you need to see something again. And uh, I'll see you next week. Happy practicing.